Diffuser. Is it just me? Or does oil come out slower in these bigger bottles? It comes out about half a bottle left. Guess they know I use it daily. I mean, I use it daily because I've noticed that when I don't use it, I wake up with an acne pick. So, Respiratory blend, it's from the vitamin shop. The different types of oils eucalyptus, peppermint, pine, tea tree, lemon, laurel leaf, and then cardamom, if that's how you say it. from the beads. I need to go get that. I made up my bed again. Very proud of myself for that. I just do a little reskit too, you know? Adjust it.
the weight but it's actually kind of weird. Matthew 28 verses 16 through 20. This Matthew is the first book of the New Testament. It's one of the Gospels. The four Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So flip to the end of Matthew. I do not know that. I learn something every day. Okay, it's actually the last paragraph. The Great Commission. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. So, some of you may be like Hannah. I thought there were 12 disciples. You would be right. But Judas betrayed Jesus, and after he betrayed Jesus, if you read in chapter 27, you will see that Judas hangs himself. So, there were only 11 left. Okay. So this says, Acts 1-8, you will be my witnesses, like it says. Teaching them. Be Christ, but they were Christ's witnesses. Okay. Living for Jesus is like running a marathon. It is not a quick sprint to the finish line. For me, a 5K is not a quick sprint to the finish line. It's been a long time since I've done a 5K. It, rather, it takes sacrifice, perseverance, and energy. Lots of energy. My aunt has done several half, mar several half marathons and full marathons. My sister has done a half marathon. So... 
and it takes a lot. This was also true for the first disciples of Jesus. They had no idea what their earthly future would hold. They just knew they had to keep going. Keep going. Just keep going. So it's saying one of the things that Matthew points out. The disciples worship, worship Jesus when they called him, but some still doubted. They saw Jesus, but some still were not fully believing. They still doubted Jesus was really there. And we know some means it was more than just one. So, they were uncertain and hesitant. So, Jesus was telling them what their new mission was. Because Jesus was going to be leaving them. He was going to be ascending into heaven. So, it is their new mission. Which was to go and make disciples. Go, make disciples. And the way Jesus said it, the word go, it's urgent. Go beyond Galilee. All nations. Jesus knew it would not be easy. But no matter what challenges they would face, I would always be with them. For I am with you always, end of the age. That's what he says. The Great Commission is our mission too, and wherever the Lord leads you during this new year, He will be with you every step of the way. Are you experiencing doubt about the year ahead? I feel like I could say yes to that. <laughs> Ask God to direct your feet to go and share the message of Jesus. As you go, make disciples by pouring into people's lives. The prayer is, please strengthen our feeble hearts and quell our fears. Give us courage to live out our faith openly, to proclaim the gospel, and to win others to Christ. One thing I do want to share with y'all, Faith cannot be forced. I know I shared with y'all, if you haven't seen my video on, I think the title was a God thing. Um, I shared with y'all how I was able to share the gospel with someone, but one thing is faith cannot be forced. And that is one of the big things you have to be careful of. Yes, you should share the gospel with people. But you can't force someone to believe something. It has to be something that they believe sort of on their own. You can help guide them, but forcing them, it's not going to go well. <laughs> so, I haven't heard from the person. I haven't reached out. I don't know if I'm going to reach out. But, I shared the gospel. I planted the seed. And hopefully it'll sprout and grow. 
I am praying for that person. But we'll see what God does with that. One more thing. The show is called Night. Is My Grace for the Moment by Max Lucado. Romans 8, 16, the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. So, when we come to Christ, God forgives us and, and he adopts us. So what happens if you go for the judgment full of mistakes? His justice cannot dismiss your sin, but because of his love, he cannot dismiss you. He punished himself on the cross rather than punishing you and me and everyone. God's justice and love are equally honored and you, God's creation, are forgiven. That's what it ties in with me, sharing the gospel with a person cannot be forced. So, encouragement of the day, I gotta get my verses, think about which verse I'm going to share with y'all today. This good one. This is Psalm 139, 1 through 3, and 23. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my glory. You discern my going out and my lying down. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts.